Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocroft and welcome back to the Medieval Town Center tutorial. Today we're going to continue with part 3 where we're just going to be focusing on the interior only and just finally get this over and done with. I hope you guys enjoyed part 1 and part 2. It's been a lot of hard work and frankly I've received a lot of great feedback on those videos. So thank you very much. It's been greatly appreciated. So anyway guys, there's not much more for me to say for this intro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I would much appreciate it if you take a moment to rate, comment and subscribe. Right guys, so here we are back once again to finally finish off with the interior. So make your way inside and we are going to start with some bricks and some brick stairs. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be bricks, it can be any block you wish, it kind of depends on your texture pack. But first we're going to start with filling in this gap and this gap and using your stairs to create the ceiling. So that is four rows of stairs and you can fill up the center with some bricks. So what we're going to do now is grab some cobblestone wall and we are going to place a block right in the center followed by two blocks of fence and then on each side we're going to place one, two, three and four to create our chandelier. Now the good thing about this is that the redstone torch has been retextured to look like a candle. Obviously you can download the texture pack from the link in the description. If not you can either use torches or just a normal redstone torch. So now that we have that done, we can do the exact same thing on this side. So just basically speed things up, we're going to fill this in, grab some stair blocks to create our ceiling. Quite straightforward. Fill in the top section, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One block over here, again stair blocks to create our ceiling. We are going to place our chandelier, that's one block of cobblestone wall in the center of the ceiling, two blocks of fence, and then one, two, three, and four with our redstone torches. And don't forget obviously to place the oak wood beams right beside the window. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we have the exact same thing on this side. The only difference is that we need to build a fireplace. So for the fireplace, what we're going to do is remove the three blocks of slab. We're going to place two blocks of stone brick, followed by a block of cobblestone stairs right in the center. We have cobblestone wall, and on top of the cobblestone wall, we are going to stack two blocks of stair blocks. So that's one and two, one and two. Right here in the center we're going to place upside down stair blocks and then by removing the brick stairs we're going to place two blocks of cobblestone and there is your fireplace. Now obviously don't forget you can light it up, I'm not going to do so right now because I'm not too sure if it's going to burn down the roof. Um, I mean the previous original version didn't actually burn down anything so I'm sure it would be fine. Now one very important feature of the town center is the throne chair as you walk in. So head over to this beam and remove two blocks of slab off the front. Now using some sticky piston we are going to place one over here facing upwards and as you can see that has been very kindly retextured. If not just use red wool. Now behind the sticky piston we are going to place three blocks of wool. That's one, two, three. And then off the right and the left hand side we are going to remove the slab. So now you're going to fill this in using some spruce wood stairs, that's one, two, and over on this side, one, two. Grab some oak wood stairs, place it on top of the stairs we just placed, and instead of placing the next block straight out, we're going to create a corner block like this. Therefore, it kind of creates an armrest, so that's one, and then a corner block. Then grab some jungle wood stairs, place it upside down against the wool block, and then one on top, right in the center followed by a small overhang. 
and then you can just add some extra detail by placing a trapdoor right here and there is your throne chair. Now obviously before moving on to some more interior decoration we're going to start by building the staircase up to the top floor. So first off we're going to place some torches because we need some extra lighting, simple as that and that is basically one and a half blocks off the floor. The staircase is going to start off from this beam so grab some oak wood stairs, remove one, two, three blocks of slab and it's going to be four stair blocks so that's one full block, two two full blocks, three, and then on the last step we're going to have upside down stair blocks and then normal stair block. So that's four stair blocks in total up to this level and that's where we're going to have the inside porch. Now you're going to fill this in with oak wood so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Ignore this bit because that is going to be filled in with some stone. Actually, no. This is going to be filled in with stone bricks. So we'll just fill this in with oak wood. Just like that. And over here, you're going to grab some jungle wood stairs. Place one, two, three upside down. And then using some fence, we can just close this off. One, two, three. And then over here, as you can see, we've got the beams. So we're going to grab the oak wood and we're going to continue this up to the ceiling. So that's one, two, three, four, and five, and six, actually. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. Now over here, you can just fill this in with some oak wood. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now over by the entrance, you're going to grab some spruce wood blocks and place two full blocks right beside the oak wood. And then using some cobblestone wall, you can make it seem as it has a little bit of extra support. Now, as I said before, we're going to fill this in with some stone bricks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, just so that it meets up with this oak wood beam. And again, we're going to place a full block, a full block of spruce wood, followed by two blocks of cobblestone wall, just to give it some support. Right, guys. So now we can continue making our spiral staircase up to the next level. So we're going to start with some stone brick slab, we're going to place one block here, followed by stair blocks, it's going to be one, two, and three. Notice I placed it on top of the stone slab, place upside down stair blocks, and then a full block over here to join it up. And as you can see, that is our start to the staircase. Moving back to some stone brick slab, we're going to place one, two, and then one, two to create a step, and you can just bring this all the way across. And you can also place an extra two blocks here and here and that will allow you to place some extra decoration. So for example, storage, crafting table, etc. Then over here, again, three blocks of slab, one, two, three, followed by the stair blocks. So it's going to be one, two, one, two. And of course, the upside down stair blocks, which is one, two and one, two. Now just before moving on with the staircase, we're going to fix up the ceiling over here using some bricks. So grab some bricks, we're going to place one, two, three, four blocks, then grab some brick stairs and it's going to be one, two, three and one, two, three. Place a full block right inside here because if you place a stair block, you're going to get a shadow and that is kind of annoying. So just full block instead. We're going to place two blocks of stairs here and here and then again on this bottom edge, it's going to be one, two, three, full block to remove the shadow, stair block. And then again, one, two, three, four, with the full block right there. Um, you know, it's quite straightforward, just basically using stair blocks to fix up the edge and just creating an arch just like that. Right guys, so now we can move on with the staircase. Again, we're going to grab some stone brick slab and place one, two, and three, followed by two full blocks, one, two, and then again, stone brick slab straight across till it meets up with this side. Then we're going to grab some oak wood and we're going to place two blocks right here in the middle and bring a beam straight across till it meets up with this side. Now for lighting, we're going to grab some glowstone and place a full block here. Therefore, it just lights everything up 
and we can now place our central chandelier. So just one block off the glowstone, we're gonna place one, two, three, four blocks of cobblestone wall, followed, followed by two blocks of fence, that's one and two, and then again, one, two, three, four blocks of fence, followed by the redstone torch, and there you have our central chandelier. So this is looking a lot nicer. We're going to continue with some stone brick slab. And we're going to fill in this gap. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way across. And on this side, we're just going to fill in one, just one length. So one, two, three, four, and five, leaving a gap for the staircase. Right guys, so now we can finally finish off the spiral staircase. Again, grab some stone brick slab and place one, two. Then grab some oak wood planks and fill this in. It's going to be one, two, one, two. And then as from here, we're going to place three blocks of stone brick stairs. So it's going to be one, upside down, two, upside down, and then three. And you can just fill this in with a full block or two slabs just like that. And going back to here, we're going to place another full block of oak wood followed by two blocks of stone brick stairs just to finish this off. Right guys, so moving on, we're going to fill this in with some oak wood and spruce wood planks. So just following the same pattern. And then using some oak wood, we're going to place two beams on both these corners. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Now using some oak wood slab, we're going to fill this in. And we're going to leave a gap for a ladder right here. Now, for some reason, the building turned out better by filling in the flooring again with full blocks of jungle wood. Don't ask why, but that's just basically how it turned out to be. And then, of course, you can add your ladder and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five blocks just like that. Right, guys, so we are finally on the last level. So we're going to grab some brick stairs and create an outline around each corner to create our ceiling. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can fill in the bottom edge using full blocks of oak wood. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Then using some red carpet, you can create a cross. Just a bit of detail that I decided to add. You can add your glowstone right in the center. And for some reason, I changed the spruce wood for hardened clay. I mean, obviously you can use any block you prefer but for some reason I thought this looked quite nice then of course you can add your decoration and you know beds etc etc right guys now the most important features of the interior is done I mean this is pretty much the interior structure um, I'm not going to go into too much detail with interior decoration because a I don't want to make this video too long and B I am dying in this summer heat I really want to go to the beach so um, I'm gonna give you a short tour of the interior of the original building and give you some pointers and you should be actually should be able to actually copy the interior just by looking at it so let's go over to the original building and I'll give you some pointers on what you should do Right guys, so again, as I said before, you should be able to copy the interior just by looking at this tour. I'm going to give you some pointers. So first off, obviously, we've got a lot of paintings, we've got torches. And also notice that the flooring is made up of spruce wood slab and nether brick slab, of course, to add a lot of extra detail. Right, so over to the first room. As you can see, again, a lot of torches. We've got some paintings, we've got some crafting tables, we've got the bookshelf with some storage. And also notice the dining table right in the center. Very small, just basically some stair blocks, crafting table, and a flower pot in the center. Um, over by the window, also notice I placed three full blocks 
with some red carpet on top. I think it goes really well with the red stained glass. Right guys, so over to the next room, kind of like a blacksmith area forward slash storage. I don't really know what to call this room. We got some cracked stone brick for some reason, some storage. Um, we got a minecart on some rail and the small chest is actually a retexture of a head. Um, again, you can download this texture pack from the link in the description. We got again more storage and anvil. Um, we got an iron block with a iron pressure plate on top, small chair and again the red carpet matching the red stained clay and a nice flag um, painting. So over here again we have some extra space for some more decoration. We've got you know storage, we've got some um, bookshelf, some paintings, a flower pot and you can also do that on this side although I kind of blew up this side with TNT. Uh, fixed it and forgot to add the interior but that is pretty much what you can do there. Um, up to the next level we got you know again more storage we got this nice flower pot over here, another flower pot up here in the corner. Um, paintings, just going up the staircase, up to the study area. Um, over here, again, crafting tables, storage, got kind of like this small place to sit and, um, you know, do some work. Um, an anvil, paintings, and oh yeah, I also added a glowstone there. Didn't actually do that before. And then finally, the top floor which is just a basically, basically a place to sleep. We've got two beds, crafting tables with your red, uh, redstone torch. Um, and that is pretty much it for the interior, guys. I'm pretty sure you can copy this uh, just by looking at it. Right, guys, so we finally completed the tutorial on the medieval town center. It's been a long journey, but it's finally done, and I am dying to go to the beach. I am just so hot in my room. I can't really open the window while I'm recording, so, you know... It, here I am dying. Uh, even the air conditioning makes too much noise. So um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, part one and part two can be found in the link in the description. And obviously, I would really, really appreciate it if you you know rate, comment, and subscribe and show your support. I will be doing the other buildings, the medieval blacksmith, uh, bakery, etc., etc., in the upcoming videos. And again, I will be doing the interior on the medieval keep coming up next. So stay tuned. And thank you for watching. This is Jerocraft, over and out.